It's pointless to complain about a deleted scene, but sometimes it's really fun to talk about what could have been. Case in point, this deleted scene in Iron Man. Like, Pepper steps in the glass and, like, it was like, what happened? <laughs> she sees his workshop in, like, ruins <laughs> while Tony was working on the Iron Man suits. Anyway, Tony asks Pepper to throw a party in Dubai, and she does exactly that. They go to Dubai, there's a big party, and he invites a couple women up to his room. First it was two, then it was three. And you're thinking, oh, this is going to be a hot and heavy scene. But he uses this as an excuse to leave the party. As an alibi because he's trying to maintain a secret identity. I'm not a fan of this scene because it just feels really pointless. I love the idea that Tony is so involved and so invested in his Iron Man project that he ignores everything. He focuses all of his time and attention in his workshop. And that's what I love about it. This is almost like a passion project for him. And also this scene, <laughs> this deleted scene, makes him feel more like Batman. This is a very Batman thing to do. I always like my characters to have, yeah, maybe there's a couple similarities here and there. Like, yeah, they're both smart. They're both billionaires. Uh, superheroes without superpowers. But I love that there's defining traits that make them stand out, that make them individuals. For instance, Goku and Superman. People forget that in the original canon, in the original story of Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball Z, Frieza was planning on destroying planet Vegeta because he feared that the Saiyans would become too strong and that they would become too unpredictable and too much to handle. But the key thing is, Goku was going to go to Earth to conquer regardless of Frieza's plans. The Saiyans didn't even know about it. The only one that knew about it was Bardock, the father of Goku, and he was given the power of sight, and he tried to stop it, but to no avail, no one would listen to him. But Goku's job was to conquer Earth until he hit his head, and that mission that was ingrained in his brain was erased. So, now, when Akira Toriyama stepped in and decided to make more Dragon Ball content, more Dragon Ball stories, he retconned that story with Dragon Ball Mice and Dragon Ball Super Broly, to where Bardock had a bad uh, feeling about Frieza, so him and Gine, uh, Goku's mom, as parents, decided to blast off their son to Earth so he would be safe, further making Goku closer to Superman. And again, like... Back in the 2000s, like, yeah, there was the similarities of, like, they came from destroyed planets and blah, blah, blah. But there were still defining traits that made them stand out. And, of course, still, but the fact that Toriyama made it, like, oh, well, both of their parents knew that their planet was going to be destroyed. So they sent them off to Earth for their own protection. And then they ended up becoming heroes of the Earth. That's like, ah, it's, it's too close. It's too close now. It's closer than it's ever been before. But again, it's always nice to see ideas being thrown around around and seeing what sticks and what doesn't there's some really good deleted scenes and some that aren't but and again it's hard to be mad at this because it was deleted for a reason and i really like that i like that this movie found its stride and became one of the best superhero movies of all time but if you like what you see here like and subscribe and please support the channel